The robot needs to have proper belt tension as well as proper belt alignment in order to work properly. Uh, now I've attached a sticky note to my pulley just so that you can see the way that the pulley spins. As I push it away from me it gets clockwise. As I pull it towards me it spins counterclockwise. Now sometimes people will pick up their belt and flip it like so. So if it's flipped and it actually will reverse the direction that your pulley goes. So you want to make sure that you have the belt properly aligned. Um, what should happen is the belt should be like so. The long stretchy part should run on the right hand side and then the parts that mount are here on the left hand side just like my belt is. So that if your robot, if it faces you like so, the green indicator light that it's turned on, if you were to push it away from you it should go spin like so and then if I pull it towards me this direction. Looks like I need to fix my sticky note. Okay, let's look at the robot screen. The first part it asks me, move your machine to the back left corner. I'm just going to push the plus sign to zero it out. Now as I pull it towards me, the number next to the Y should grow bigger positively. If I push it away from me, then the number should start going negative. As I move my machine to the left, the number should go negative. As I move my machine to the right, the number should go positive. Now if your Y is reversed, if it's not working the way mine's working, you'll need to pick up those belt and flip it because you probably have your belt backwards. If both of them are reversed, then you probably have your motors reversed. So you'll go into settings. Then you'll go to advanced. Okay, updates parameters. So you'll go settings, parameters, and here on the on the right hand side you'll switch your motor direction to reversed. You only do that if both the X and the Y are reading wrong. If only the Y is reading wrong, you just need to flip your belt. Now what happens with a Y and X axis motor is either the belts got too tight, so it tripped the motor and it could not spin, or it was so loose that these little pulleys couldn't pull itself along the belt correctly. Notice the tension in my belt. If I release this lever, which it has a little clutch and then the actual lever, if I pull it towards myself just a hair so I can let the clutch out, notice that it released all this tension in this belt. So it's important that I lock that lever back into place to bring the tension back into the belt. Another thing that sometimes happens is, notice this little pulley. The motor inside the robot has to spin this shaft. Because this pulley is hugging the shaft, this, pul this pulley hugs that shaft and this pulley has teeth in it that match the teeth of the belt so it can pull itself along. Now if this little pulley gets too loose and it's no longer hugging the shaft, then your robot, the motor will still spin and think that it's, your robot may think it's over here when it's actually over here. Because the motor spun so many times to that area, but your robot held still because the pulley wasn't able to pull itself over there. So you want to make sure that your pulleys are tight enough. So if I spin my pulley, if I spin my little pulley, I can see that it's spinning my shaft. You can see that the shaft is spinning. That is a very, very good thing. If they're spinning independently, then notice these little holes around the pulley. You'll just need to stick a wrench in there and tighten it down. So there's a pulley here, and there's obviously a pulley down there for your X belt, which we can't see because it's under there. So that's a quick guide to the X and Y axis motors. It could be a belt or a pulley, probably your belts. So check your belts. And once again, as you pull towards yourself, the number next to the Y should start getting bigger. As you push it away from yourself, the number next to the Y should get reversed. As you move to the left, you get more negative. As you move to the right, your X number should climb positively for your X and your Y. And once again, if the Y is reversed, 
you'll need to flip your belt. If both X and Y aren't working, for example, if I move over here and it gets negative, then you need to do the reverse motor in the settings here under the parameters tab. 